So I just look into this contraption. Hello, entire human race. I am George Washington Carver, America's leading botanist. Well, at least I was in 1910. I assume nothing botanically significant has occurred within the last 106 years. So Henri has asked me to document my thoughts on the future, which is totally unfair because she's hardly let me see anything. But I must say, I am underwhelmed ever since I accidentally came through the time portal. She doesn't Totally heard that. Fiddlesticks! I do have a few thoughts about this future of yours that I would like to share. First and foremost, there are far fewer peanut products than I assumed there would be. I had assumed that you would at least be writing on peanut paper and using peanut ink. My studies have shown that peanut-based ink is 90% as effective as black carbon ink, and only three times the cost. Oh, apologies. I'm just so passionate about peanuts. My point is, there are so many uses for peanuts that are being woefully neglected in the future. No, oh, but I digress. Henri has asked me to share about those things that I find fascinating. These computers seem fine for recording data and making calculations, but by her own admission, Henri hardly uses it for that reason. What is a candy crush anyway? And who is this fruit ninja fellow? And not only do Kim and Henri have their own refrigerator, but it makes ice. You can put it in lemonade, you can put it in ale, you can put it in coffee. Oh, that's ridiculous. And their cheese comes in whiz form. And then there's the indoor plumbing. Although I don't know why Henri still has an outhouse. Hmm. Uh, disregard what I said before. The future is a utopia brimming with wonder. And now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to trick Henri into letting me stay just a little while longer. I'll start by offering to clean the garage. Mm -hmm.